birthday. You might ask, what are we going to do today? Well, another, another experiment. No, not quite an experiment. I know how this turns out. We're going to melt in the oven shopping bags. Way to reduce the size of the shopping bags. You can take them down to the um, get them recycled, which I think is a good idea to do. You can recycle them any any way you'd like to. See, it rather springs up. What I do is time in time in the knots, time in the smaller things so they don't stack up as much. Well, expand because you've got to put it in the oven. Once you put it in the oven, they melt. Start to melt anyway. In the oven, the oven is set to 180, and we just need to wait. Shouldn't take extremely too long. Be back when they're melted down. Okay, a couple of minutes in the oven. I'll show you what they look like. Look at that. Amazing how it melts down. Just looking for my knife. Well, this will do for the moment. And it can still go down even more because it has air pockets in here. There's an air pocket. Ooh. All right, we'll put some more on there and we'll put it in again. Just make sure you take out all the um, receipts and things like that that you have from shopping. Often we just leave the receipts in the bag. <laughs> Like I said, should really time them to knots. Nice. 
couple of minutes in the oven they shrink down to almost nothing. No, well, here we go. Close her up. And they're off and racing. Alright, be back later. Yeah, I've taken it out of the oven. You can you can squeeze it down. You can work with it. Just like it's Big counterpart HDPE, but the low density polyethylene, you can still work the same. So that was probably about five or six plastic bags shopping bags that is anyway put it back in the oven update later so what we're going to do we've just taken it out of the oven just going to put our plates on here now Put our plate over the top. Actually, got to move some of these. And then we put another tile on top. What we're going to do is just press, press that. Try and put a clamp on that. So if we have the, if we put these spaces in here, and we clamp down to that. Then ideally, whatever we clamp, it should be that the same size across the whole surface across here if we had some more clamps we could put one on this side here one on that side there and put some more spaces in there all right Oops. we'll see how that goes leave that to the morning I said earlier on another video that plastic bags don't necessarily make a good modeling um, material. I should clarify. They don't make a good machinable uh, modeling material. Well, that said, if this works, like clamping and as long as you have a good surface and the, and the part comes out all right from being being pressed you may be able to 
um, use it for um, flat surfaces or balls or um, anything. But like I said, we'll see how this goes first. <laughs> it should, I think it should be all right. And we'll have a look at this on um, tomorrow. These spaces, you need these spaces to at least be level. Be parallel, I should say, between the plates. We'll see what that's like in the morning. Update. It's been overnight and we're going to check, take the clamps off and see how our how the um, what was it? The uh, low density polyethylene went. Take our little side strips out. Take the plate off. Voila. Quite hard. That looks all right. Oh. Oh, that's real. That's really um. That's really hard. I can reckon I can crack the tile with that. Yes. Machine machine ability. I wouldn't say that would work quite work well because I've I've done that before. But we might be able to just cut strips strips from it. Or even like cut a square or something like that and just use the square. That's come up better than what I thought, actually. Who would have known, eh? Old shopping bags into this hundred and eighty degrees. Give it some time, melt it down, just press it together. Then you put it in the put it in the press, press it down, and away you go. There's no real smell to it. None that I can smell in there. I quite like that actually. That worked better than the um, first attempt. And as you can see, it's, it is even. We have to cut some more of that. I should say, we should make some more of those. If you had coloured bags, you'll get you have coloured um you'll have a coloured piece. You could use this as a um, cutting board. It's quite. Don't know where the knife is. There, you go. use as a cutting board. It will mark, but it's yes, it's quite good actually. We we'll just have to see how it goes. I'll um, I'll do some um, cut strips with a jigsaw and see how it looks.
but all I know is that once you get underneath the skin here they don't look pretty when you machine it but when it just by itself looks quite good all this surface here see how it's like this that would be all right Once you, once you put your adhesive on, on here, it'll at least give something to bite onto. This. It's better than what I thought, actually. Maybe we might have to try some of this in on the TARDIS. There you go. And they said shopping bags. Ah! Catch you next time.